worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. I take a shot, he gets me extended, I get here. Here's what you guys do, high school wrestlers, all right? You guys get here, you hold on, all right? I don't care how strong you are or how strong you think you are. That's the wrong thing to do. You guys get there, you get extended, we don't want to hold on, all right? You're, you're just asking for trouble. One, you're going to get scored on probably eventually. Two, you're going to spend a bunch of energy for nothing, all right? What, what separates to me the great guy from the good guy is the great guy understands when he's in a bad position and he's able to recover. Everybody gets in a bad position. Everybody gets extended. The great guy's able to transition from that point and look for another scoring opportunity or get out of that bad spot, okay? We're gonna do that right now. We're gonna shoot a head outside single, we're gonna get extended, and we're not gonna hold on. Immediately, as soon as we feel we're extended, we're gonna post, all right? As soon as I do this with my left, left hand, I have the ability to get my head off the mat, all right? To get my chest up. We can then come to a tripod. If I come here, I can back out completely, all right? Or I can repenetrate in. I have the ability to move, to recover, to get my hips underneath me, all right? Instead of staying here, all right? Guys, you're gonna find out. You shoot, you stop, you stay here, you're losing a lot of matches. You guys already know that, all right? Some wrestlers, that's instinctive. You guys understand, you feel it, you immediately post, all right? Some guys, you know what? It takes you guys a second for your mind to say, okay, post that hand. We just gotta do it more and more and more and more. Put yourself in these situations to be able to recover quicker. Um, I'm gonna shoot a head outside single now. Um, all right, I'll use seals. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a head outside single. I'm gonna let Eli get me extended here. He's gonna sprawl. So first scenario, rotate double. I was in a good stance, all right? He pulled the leg back. Second scenario, I was in a decent stance. He was hanging over top. This time, he's gonna get me extended. So I shoot a head outside single, he gets me extended. Now look, he's got me beat here on position. My head's down, my arms are away from my body. Immediately, I'm gonna let go of the leg with my left hand. I'm gonna post. When I do this, I have the ability to come to a tripod. I'm gonna come to my tripod. Now from here, I'll show you how to do this two ways, the easy way and the hard way. Let's do it the hard way first. From here, I have the ability to move, all right? I'm gonna re-penetrate, and my left knee is gonna penetrate right here where my fist is. That's gonna bring my hips underneath me and underneath him. Left knee penetrates underneath. Now look, my hips went underneath me. My head is up, my hips are underneath me, and more importantly, my hips are underneath him. From here, I took that weight that was on my head and my hands, it went to his hands, all right? I'm gonna step up with my, left, my right foot. Notice, I elevate my right shoulder and I'm gonna be able to come right out the back door. I'm gonna raise my shoulder up, and I'll just walk my butt right out the back door. We call this a head outside single, lift out the back door again. Head outside single, my partner's got me extended, all right? He's got me extended here. I'm gonna post. Left hand's gonna let go to the post. I'm gonna come to what we call a tripod. From here, I'm gonna penetrate. Watch my left knee, left knee penetrates on it. As I do that, I'm gonna elevate my right hip, I'm gonna elevate his hips, I'm gonna walk my butt right out the back door. Very simple. Here's what happened. I got all the weight to Eli's hands. That gives me the ability to go this direction, out the back door. Notice, this really isn't occurring with my shoulder. A lot of you guys think this is about your arm. It's not about my arm. I'm not even grabbing his leg right now. This is about my hips. Watch my hips. Hips are down, hips are up. You can see how I elevate him. My hips elevate him. From here, I'm just gonna walk my butt right out the back door and finish. When I elevate him, this is where you guys run into problems. You guys do everything right. He's got you extended. You post your left hand. You penetrate your left hand, you get here. Now all of a sudden you start doing weird stuff and I don't want it. One, you'll put your head inside the legs. No good. Two, you'll do some weird sit out. All right, I don't understand why anybody does this. I see it every week. I went from a decent position to another bad position. Not good. I'm simply gonna walk my butt. My butt's gonna go right out the back door. Post, tripod, knee under, I elevate. My butt's gonna come right out the back door. Uh, let's go over a couple variables. Things that can happen. I'm extended. Post, tripod, knee under. I come here. What if he locks around my waist? Let's go lock around my waist. What do I do? Anybody? Lift, swim, right? Just did it. Lift, swim. So if he locks, I'm back to lift, swim. Partner, we know this variable. I want weight on your hands. Second variable. 
Head outside, see what he's got me extended. I pull his tripod and he comes under. He locks his legs. Okay, I can't come out the back door. That's okay. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna throw his weight over top of me. My goal is now to be come out the side. If I can't come out the back, I'm gonna come out the side. My right hand is gonna punch to the mat. He'll end up on his right hip. I'll back my head out. Go from here to here. Now look, as soon as this happens, I'm gonna keep his bottom leg. I will attack the head. We're gonna end up in kind of a cross body cradle here. We'll run him up, look for our fall. So I can actually turn bad position into potentially five points. One more time. Head outside single. He's got me beat. I'm extended. I want you guys to start here. Start extended. <coughs> Post. Tripod. Left knee penetrates under. Watch my left knee. It's coming right here. That brings my right hip up. I elevate him. I walk my butt right out the back door. If he locks his legs, like I said before, or if he just falls over top, scroll. Post. Tripod. Left knee under. Elevate. He locks his legs. Throw your fist to the mat. Back your head out. Attack his head. We got it? Let's see it. One, two, three. 